Hey Cancer, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your love reading for May 18 through 23. Is that right? I think it's through 25, 18 through 25. And we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And I'm calling in Archangel Gabriel to give us messages for cancer, love messages for mid-month, May 2021. Does anyone with sun, moon, rising, or Venus, cancer placements, any cross watchers that want to know about cancer? Yep, and let's see what's going on. This is what we're going to do. We're going to look at the situation at hand here. We're gonna look at your energy cancer. We're gonna look at the person who you're thinking about. We're gonna look at their energy. And then we're gonna look at energy around what's going on in this connection. We're gonna look at energy, like what is the energy of this connection? And then any kind of energy that's coming toward you that maybe you're not aware of. Energy coming at you that you don't see. All right, so here is the situation, Cancer. Here is your energy. Here is the person that you are thinking about. Here is the situation, the connection. And then here is the energy that you don't see coming. All right, let's take a look at the situation, Cancer. The first thing that we have is the Four of Cups reversed. What that tells me is that some offer has been taken. There has been an offer that has been made and an offer that has been accepted. And here we have the Seven of Swords. So this looks like a little bit of, uh, you know, it might be on the low low. There's some sneaky monkey business going on with this offer. And here we have the death. This is about complete transformation. You know, I'm getting this feeling, Cancer, that somebody's offered a sneaky monkey cup of love and had a change of heart where it's like, whoa, I don't want this to be sneaky monkey. I want to transform this. I want it to be something different. Hmm. We'll clarify all of this. So let's take a look at your energy. Ooh, your energy is saying there was a Knight of Cups that was pursuing me and I wasn't, I wasn't going for it. Something happened here, Cancer, where it's like there, there's not an apology that happened. There's some kind of Knight that was coming toward you that you didn't like what they were offering. Let's look at the next one. Here's Judgment but it's reversed. So this is like, I already know where that type of offer goes. Dang, Cancer. You're like, and here's the emperor reversed. This is your energy, Cancer. I feel like you're like, I'm not playing around with any kind of emperor who's reversed. I'm not playing around with an emperor who is only thinking about themselves and not thinking about anyone else's feelings. Promises made that weren't followed through with, words not matching actions. That's what you're talking about, Cancer. Okay, let's look at your person, the person that you're thinking about. The person that you're thinking about is coming out with Queen of Wands energy. This is a manifester. They are intrinsically thinking about you and how to win your affection, win your attention. You know, I even want to say win your energy, which is a little creepy. So yeah, I want to clarify that. But that is somebody who wants to connect energetically. And here's the six of wands. They think they're going to be successful at this. 
they think you're, they're going to be victorious about this. But this is also them thinking about you, Cancer, as like this energetic, like amazing energy between you. There's chemistry here. It's like winning chemistry. And here we have the Page of Swords. This person, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, even there are little letters in this Page of Swords with this card. Like this, I feel like this person is going to reach out and say something to you or contact you or talk to you about this, this energy that they're recognizing in you or the energy and or the energy that you are bringing out in them. Let's take a look at the energy of this connection. First, we have the magician reversed. This magician reversed is, talk about sneaky monkey energy. Here's a monkey. But it reversed, like the magician reversed is manipulative. This emperor reversed energy, magician reversed energy. This feeling that I got here was someone wanting to kind of take your energy that's that's, yeah, I'm not feeling awesome about that. Here's the Ace of Cups. There's love here. And I feel like that's this. I wanted to be sneaky monkey, but this is kind of transforming. Somebody's going through a huge transformation. Somebody's experiencing some kind of, I want to say emotional, but spiritual leveling up. There's a love here, but it's almost like they don't know how to not manipulate. They don't know how to, I want to say like be straightforward. Why does all this have to be sneaky monkey? Let's just ask. It's like there is love there, but they're fucking it up with that manipulation. Why does it have to be like that? What's going on? Yeah, here's the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is divine timing. What's going on is that they need to go through some trials and tribulations so that their timing card turns right side up. That's what's going on. They have more to do before they can be in a relationship. That is not Sneaky Monkey. All right. What kind of energy is coming at you that you don't see? Here's the King of Wands reversed. So here we have this person sending some interesting communication, perhaps passionate communication. They're letting you know how they feel about you, at least physically. And this King of Wands reversed, he can come in and be very charismatic and very charming, but he'll leave too. And here's the, key, the queen of swords. So this energy, uh, this is a lot of, um, this queen is pissed off. I will say this, this energy that comes in is nervous about this queen being pissed off. They don't want to experience negative words toward them because I kind of feel like this emperor, they can't take it. They don't know what to do with it because they know they're being manipulative and sneaky monkey, but they don't know. They don't know. They don't know how to come correct. They don't know how to own up to it. Here's the three of wands reversed. So what they, this sneaky monkey energy, it like comes in, doesn't want any kind of conflict and they're not planning on staying here for the future. It's like they want to come in and then leave again. It's like they want to um, like tie up loose ends somehow. Yeah. All right. Let's just put that here and do a little clarification, Cancer. Hmm. Yeah, here's the devil reversed. And I was still thinking about tying up loose ends down here. It's like they just want to, it's like, if I just have this experience or if I just hang out with cancer and I just like, 
interact, that'll be enough. I'll just like, then I can get my closure, then I can close the door. But it's like they're trying to release patterns and themes that don't serve them. Like they're trying to release toxicity. It even seems like they are saying that what the, the fear that they feel about owning up to the things that would be negative, what they're thinking, what would be negative that they don't want to hear, that's what they're trying to release. And with all of this manipulation happening, it feels like it would be turned around on you when ultimately they're just not owning up to their truth. Ooh, that's some energy coming at you that you might not see, Cancer. Let's go ahead and clarify the rest of these. Like, it's like, I don't wanna bring this forward into the future. All right, let's clarify this King of Wands reverse, Cancer. Yeah, this person is working on themselves. This is what they're doing, but it's also like they're working on you. How much are you willing to give? Hmm. This feels very manipulative. How much are you willing to give me still? And Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, this also feels like someone who, this person, perhaps you, but they've heard these negative words before. And it also looks like someone cut someone off or there's no communication or they're afraid of this Queen of Swords reversed, like having already moved on. So they're wondering about that. Let's look at this situation again and clarify. So this Four of Cups, somebody's made a decision. It's been kind of a sneaky monkey decision and there's been some transformation, some, some big transformation here because of all of this. Where did that just go? Did it fall? Yes, it did. Hold on a second. I don't know why spirit wants to do that. It's all the way down under the table. Oh, there are two. Okay. So when we're asking about this here, it looks like this, this King of Cups looks like they feel cut off. I even want to say abandoned. So this King of Cups, whoever was cut off or whoever felt abandoned is going through this huge transformation. It could be one person. It could be both people. Let's get a clarifier for this death card. Right. There, this, this is an open door. There's some transformation that went on. There was like this cutting off, this sneaky monkey business cutting off. And then now there's this open door. Wow. Okay. So I wanna look at the connection and clarify that a little bit. This magician reversed. Oh, this re magician reversed. Another reason why they are doing this, like, why are you doing this? They have to go through more cycles for this to really evolve or really transform. But this magician is doing this because they're protecting themselves. They feel like they have to protect themselves or these are defense mechanisms. That's why they do this in this way. It's like they don't wanna show their emotions. Okay. And even this is like, they're talking about their emotions in a really manipulative way. Here's the Ace of Cups. And this is like the, the energy of the situation, the energy between, you know, the energy of the connection. But it's like, I'm not talking about my love feelings in a straightforward way. And they've learned to do this because they've been hurt. Oh God, I'm hearing the word executed. So they've been hurt before so much so that 
it felt like an execution. Wow, that just sounds crazy. Oh, and then we have two cards that flipped over for this Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like dropping my guard is so dangerous that I can't pursue love in the straightforward fashion. Wow. Okay, we're gonna get some advice too here, Cancer, but let's first do some clarification of your energy and then we'll clarify their energy. So this Knight of Cups reversed, which is also coming up here. And this is, I've seen this before and I'm not accepting this energy. And then you get the three of pentacles. This is my therapy card. It's like you are, you are doing some serious work, Cancer, on just putting some things together for yourself. Self-work. And here's the moon reversed. When we are clarifying judgment reversed, this is like going backwards, looking at the past. I've been there. I already know this. I've already done some of that work. I've already done some of that work. So done some of that work with someone around someone who perhaps was controlling, perhaps was not truthful. I feel like this is work that you've done Maybe I even want to say since birth. Let's clarify this emperor reversed. Yeah, talk about cycles. Here we have the wheel of fortune again. So the work that this person is doing, and that's why they can't get into a relationship that is flowing forward and open. You've done this work <laughs> from birth, what I'm hearing tyrannical even is what this is and it's like you've already been through cycles of that and you're like mm -mm. Okay, nobody got time let's take a look at this this person that you're thinking about and their their emotions their how they're <clears throat> how they're feeling about the situation this queen of wands excuse me cancer yeah so this queen of wands they're keeping it to themselves right now but how they feel about you and how they feel about the situation they're very much manifesting they're thinking about it they're really really in deep contemplation about it so let's look at this victory card the six of wands over here they also feel like It's like, okay, this is being very concerned about how they look to other people. This would be even concerned with how you look on a stage, feeling like other people are watching them. Yeah. Here's this King of Cups up here and here's the Queen of Cups reversed. They're concerned about what they look like, but then they're also, they do have some concern about somebody being disappointed. Some feminine energy being disappointed. I feel like this is also them. They're afraid to have their feelings hurt. They're afraid of rejection. And here, let's take a look at this page of swords, this communication. And here's the queen of pentacles. It's like, they're not letting themselves do it, or at least they're thinking about it and they're not allowing themselves to, to reach out, reach out. Okay, let's get a clarifier for this wheel of fortune reversed. This would be their cycle or this would be their process that they're in right now that's keeping them from being in a direct, straightforward relationship that they're happy with. They keep kind of like looking out toward the things that they've manifested. And a lot of times they've 
this card is like manifesting what it is that you want. You've thrown it out there and your shifts are coming in. So even though you're in waiting mode, you've manifested it and it's coming. It's coming eventually here. But with this, I do think that I feel like that it's coming, but it just feels like the waiting period is super long right now. Okay, like that, that's the part of the wheel, like it's, you know, the downturn of the wheel. So it's like, I'll wait for you like a stone. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some advice. I'm gonna use, nope, this one's lighting up. I'm gonna use this for some advice, Cancer. What is your advice around this? What does Cancer need to do? Archangel Gabriel, what does Cancer need to do about the energy of the situation around them and their field, thinking about it? Knight of Cups reversed. Queen of Swords. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So the Knight of Cups reversed is like, you don't really offer anything. You don't come forward and offer anything that has to do with your heart. I feel like you've already done that. You've already offered your heart like nobody's business. And this next one is the queen of swords. It's like being very intrinsically clear with your intention. And then here, this knight of pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck is halted completely. Basically, this is like, hold your space, hold your energy, just go within, go in internal with your intention, just hold the intention in your space of what it is that you want. And let's ask about that intention. What do you need to focus on? <laughs> this is getting very clear with your own thoughts, getting very clear with your own well, I'm hearing agenda, but I feel like this is a solo agenda. So just like what you wanna do in your own life, just getting very clear about what you want in your life. Yeah, the rest of this even, I'm hearing like shenanigans, like when you cut out the shenanigans, what do you want in your life? This is a time for you to meditate, incubate and connect with spirit and soul and figure out what is it that you want to, to have in your life. We're gonna get one of these shield cards. The chariot, this is a victory card. This is the victory card of the major arcana. This is about going forward, but it's going forward being so directed. You are beelining to exactly what it is that you want. So that's why it's so important to figure out what that is. What do you want in your life? This, this queen doesn't really negotiate. She knows what she wants and she also, she doesn't negotiate, she doesn't bend, she doesn't settle. She just is like, this is what I want. If I don't get it on, you know, in this way, then I switch channels or I switch paths so that I, I'm not going to settle. So I get what I want. If this isn't the road where that thing is, then I'll go down a different road. I go down the road that gets me to the place that I want to be. This is also yin yang. This is really like complete balance. And you experience complete balance once you know what you want. All right, Cancer. That's what I have for you. If this resonated with you, like and subscribe. And I will talk to you in a couple of days. Take care, Cancer.